Well, the, the Kakapo chick was born with a, a part of its brain bulging out of its skull. And so we needed to do the surgery so that if anything broke that little bit of fibrous tissue that it was all that separated the brain from the outside world, the bird would have been in serious trouble, would have had meningitis, brain infections and death. So it had to be really delicate. We had to gently tease away the skin from around the bit of herniated tissue. And then once we had that clear and exposed, we could then see whether we were able to actually try and push that piece of brain back down inside the skull. But it was too thickened and out too far for us to do that, so we had to make the decision during surgery to actually remove that piece of brain and the tissue associated with it. And then at that point we scarified the tissue of the skull and then put a mesh graft over the top of that so that it would stick really well and pulled it tight like a trampoline over the hole in the skull. And the brain is putting pressure up through that hole, trying to push the brain back up through this hole, and the mesh is keeping that down in place. And then we infuse the mesh with some bone marrow taken from the bird's own bone to try and get the scar to, to mineralise up so that we get a bony seal over the top of that hole. And if we're successful, and it looks like at this stage it's going very well and we hope that it will be, we'll have a permanent uh, cover over that hole and the bird will live a happy and normal life. This is a world first surgery because nobody has done brain surgery on a kakapo before. This is the first time we've seen this problem in a kakapo chick. So certainly it's a world first. In terms of human medicine, this kind of procedure is done regularly and the, the human surgeons do some amazing work. And we were able to borrow the techniques and the lessons that they have learned and applied it to this species. We are obviously aware of the high stakes of the game. There are very few kakapo left in the world. And despite, and the kakapo recovery team is doing some fantastic efforts and it's been a really good breeding year. But still every chick is valuable to, to the future of this species.